Hey, hi! Welcome to Practically Employed. I'm G, and today I'm going to show you three different ways to get your greens in. So, let's get to it! My first recipe is a green smoothie. I added a cup of spinach. Then I put some flax seeds on top. They are really good for digestion because they're high in fiber. Now I'm adding some pineapple. Pineapple and spinach go really well together to cover up any kind of green taste that you might have. Now I'm putting some almond milk on, but I didn't have as much almond milk as I wanted, so I did go ahead and add some water so I would have a thinner smoothie. After that, I put the lid on, put it on top of my blender. And then my blender has a frozen drink setting, so I just went ahead and hit that. And here is the consistency that I got. As you can see, it's pretty thin, but if you want it thicker, you can go ahead and add more fruit or less liquid. Now I can put a to-go lid on the cup that I used, or I can just pour it out into a glass. And you can see just how thin it is here. Now my second recipe is a kale hummus. So first I'm adding some kale into a bowl. I'm massaging it because it'll help break down the greens and they won't be as bitter. Now I boiled some water and I'm just adding the kale in there to blanch it. This again will help uh, break down the kale so when it goes into the hummus it won't be bitter or so strong. I'm just mixing the kale around so that way all of the leaves get coated. Now in the meantime, I am just chopping up an onion and I added that to a pan on medium heat with some olive oil. Now while that's cooking, I drained the kale. After the kale is drained, you can go ahead and add that to the pan with the onions. We're just going to saute that for a little bit. I added some garlic powder but it's optional, it just adds a little extra flavor. Then I moved that around so I made sure everything got coated. Now after uh, that's all mixed together and done cooking, I moved the kale into a bowl because I'm gonna put it into the refrigerator. I want my kale to cool down mainly because I just don't want warm hummus, but you can add it right away if you need. Now I'm adding a can of chickpeas that were rinsed into my food processor. After this, I'm just adding some lemon juice and olive oil. And you can use fresh lemon if you have it, I just didn't have any on hand. Now the kale should be cooled, so I just took it out of the refrigerator and put it back into the food processor with the onions. After this, I went ahead and processed it all together. At this point, I did end up adding some more liquid. You can add more olive oil or just some water until you get the consistency that you want. This is the consistency that I was looking for. And here is what it looks like. Also realized I forgot to add some salt and some pepper. So I just added that now and mixed it all up. You can taste it and add different seasonings if you like, but I felt that it only needed some salt and pepper. Now I'm putting some bread in the toaster and I'm just gonna toast that up. And here I took some baby carrots and I put it in the food processor with the remains that were left from the hummus. And it kind of made like a riced carrot. And then I went ahead and I put that around the toast with the hummus and on top and it added a lot of extra flavor to this green dish. And here you have it, kale hummus with some carrots. Now for the next recipe, I'm making a mustard green pasta. So I just diced up two cloves of garlic and some onion. It was about a half an onion. Then I'm adding that to a pan on medium heat with some olive oil. And I'm just gonna let that saute for a little bit. So I'm mixing it around so that way the olive oil can get coated with the onion and the garlic. Now I'm taking my mustard greens and I'm just taking them off the stem. After they're taken off the stem, I'm just rinsing them, so that way they're nice and clean. 
You can use other greens in place if you don't have mustard greens or you don't like them. Uh, I think arugula would work really well in this recipe. Now I'm just taking the mustard greens and I'm roughly chopping them up. That way the greens won't be too big and they won't be overpowering in the final dish. Now I added the mustard greens into the pot with the onions and the garlic, and then I added some water so that way it can wilt down. You're gonna have to continuously add water and mix it around, so that way you can fit all the greens and it will look like this. You can see it broke down a lot and it just gets really tender and has this nice flavor to it. I chopped up three Roma tomatoes and I diced them so they would also be broken down in the pasta. And then I add them to a pan on medium heat with some olive oil. And I am going to go ahead and cover them and let them sit for a little bit. Now while those are sitting, I'm filling a pot with some water. And I am going to go ahead and boil some spaghetti. I'm using Jerusalem artichoke flour pasta. It is my favorite. And here we have it. You drain the pasta. And this is what your tomato should look like after you do all of that. And add some salt and a little bit of pepper. And then mix around so it gets covered or coated. And then I'm just pushing all the tomatoes to one side so that way the greens can fit in. And after the greens get into the pan, then I went ahead and mixed them anyways. So that way when I put the pasta on top, I can mix everything together. I would suggest using tongs to mix. It just works a lot easier and helps get everything nice and evenly distributed. Now the last thing that I'm doing is chopping up mozzarella balls into quarters. These ones came in an oil that had herbs in it, so they do have a little bit of a seasoning on them. After that, I just went ahead and added them to the pasta and I waited until they got all melted like this. I didn't add too many mozzarella balls because I wanted their flavor to balance with the tomatoes and the mustard greens. Here's the finished product. We have the green smoothie, a kale hummus with carrots on top, and a mustard green pasta. So that's it. I hope you found this video helpful, appetizing, and or inspirational. If you liked what you saw or what you might eat, feel free to subscribe to my channel so that way we can hang out again next time.